So here are the stats after using Void Strap and Plexity for Roblox in 2025. In this video, we'll compare both side by side, explore their features like fast flags, CPU boosts, and memory tweaks, and I'll show you which one is the better Roblox FPS booster for you. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Clear temporary files to free up space. The first thing we will do is clean out all the temporary files from your computer. To start, press the Windows key plus R at the same time on your keyboard. This will open a small box called Run. Inside the box, type temp and press Enter. A folder will appear showing many files. These are all temporary junk files. Select all of them by pressing Ctrl plus A, then hit Delete. Don't worry if some files can't be deleted because Windows is still using them. Just skip those ones. Now, do the same thing again. Press Windows plus R, but this time, type percent, temp percent, and press Enter. Another folder will open with even more temporary files. Again, select everything and delete them. Just like before, skip the files that won't delete. By cleaning out both these folders, you're giving your computer more free space and removing junk that makes it slower. Step 2. Boost Roblox FPS Using Void Strap and Fast Flag settings, you can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. The next step is to use a tool called Void Strap Launcher. This program works like Blockstrap, but it has some extra features that can help even more with boosting Roblox FPS. Some players find that Void Strap performs better on their PCs compared to Blockstrap, so it's worth trying. Once installed, open the Windows search bar, type Void Strap, and launch it. Inside, you'll see several tabs such as Settings, Deployment, and Modifications. In the Settings tab, you will see things like Multi-Instance Launching and Player Logs. These are very similar to Blockstrap, but you can adjust them depending on what you need. Next, open the Deployment tab. Here, you'll find features like Cross-Game Teleportation and another version of Multi-Instance Launching, which may be more stable than what Blockstrap offers. Then, move to the Modifications tab. This section allows you to use custom sounds, older Roblox features, and other tweaks. But the most important part of Voidstrap is the Fast Flag Editor. This editor shows you which flags are preset, green checkmark, and which ones are custom, red X. You'll also see options such as Copy All Flags, Copy Better JSON, and Find Flag. There are even profiles that let you save different Fast Flag setups. To use your own, click Import JSON, Paste the fast flags from your FPS boost pack and save them. Don't forget to check the fast flag settings tab, which has ready-made optimization presets for higher FPS and lower ping. Finally, explore the appearance and shortcuts tabs. These are similar to Blockstrap, but Voidstrap also has a beta AI chat feature that may help in the future. Once you save everything, close Voidstrap and launch Roblox. Compare the FPS with Blockstrap to see which one works best for you. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 3. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now we will try another special Roblox launcher called Plexity. This one is very powerful and can give a big FPS boost, reduce lag, and smooth out stutters. Plexity is especially good for low-end PCs, but also works well on mid-range and high-end systems. Once it's installed, search for Plexity in the Windows search bar and open it. You'll see a welcome screen where you can pick light mode or dark mode. After that, you'll see the Roblox priority setting, which controls how much CPU power Roblox gets. If your PC is weak, set the priority to high so Roblox gets more power and runs smoother. 
But if you usually run other apps in the background, like Discord or recording software, then choose Normal for balance. Once done, Plexity will confirm that the setup is complete. Inside Plexity, enable these options. Clean Roblox temp files, removes leftover files from Roblox that slow it down. Clean Roblox logs, clears logs that build up every time you play. Enable multi-threaded rendering, makes Roblox use all CPU cores for smoother gameplay. Allow cross-game teleportation limit, speeds up loading when switching games. There's also bottleneck detection, which shows if your CPU or GPU is the problem, but we'll leave that off for now. You can even change your Roblox cursor using Plexity if you want a new look. Next, go to the Fast Flags section. This is where big performance boosts happen. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock, so Roblox matches your monitor's refresh rate. For example, if your monitor is 144 Hz, Roblox can now run at 144 frames per second. Turn on Use Max Frame Rate, which removes Roblox's FPS limit. Set Texture Quality to Low. If you want better, FPS on Weaker, PCS. Set Render Mode to DirectX DX for best results on Windows. Go to the Plugins tab for more tools like Server Info, Ping and Location, and Uninstall Options. Then check the Tweaks tab for extra speed boosts. To install Fast Flags, go to Editor Settings and click Add New. Open your FPS Boost Pack, find the presets, copy everything, and paste it into Plexity. Save, confirm, and then launch Roblox. After this, Roblox should feel much smoother. Step 4. Enable all CPU cores for maximum speed. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. By default, Windows doesn't always use your CPU's full power, which means some cores may stay idle. To fix this and get the most performance in Roblox, we'll use a free tool called Park Control. After downloading and installing Park Control, open it. You'll see several power plans. Choose the one called Bitsum Highest Performance. This plan is designed to force your CPU to stay at full strength instead of slowing down to save energy. Now adjust these settings. CPU Parking AC, set to off, 100%. CPU Parking DC, set to off, 100%. Frequency Scaling. AC, set to off, 100%. Frequency Scaling DC, set to off, 100%. Also, turn on Bitsum Dynamic Boost, which lets your CPU save energy when idle but immediately switch to full power while gaming. After adjusting, go to Windows Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance as your active plan. Double check that CPU parking and frequency scaling are disabled for both AC and DC. Finally, click Make Active and Apply. Now, your CPU will always use 100% of its power while playing Roblox. This stops random slowdowns and gives you more consistent FPS. Step 5. Optimize RAM performance with ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. If your RAM is not optimized, Roblox can stutter and lag when memory fills up. To fix this, we'll use a tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Once downloaded, open ISLC. At the top, you'll see your total RAM in megabytes. Divide that number by two and type it into the box called Free Memory is Lower Than. For example, if you have 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000. If you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. Next, enable these options. Start ISLC minimized launch. ISLC on user logon, so it always runs when your PC starts. Enable timer resolution. Set it to 0.50. Now adjust the polling rate. If you have a newer PC, set it to 1,000 milliseconds. If your PC is older, set it to 10,000 milliseconds. After setting this up, click Stop, then Start, and finally click Purge Standby List. This clears unused memory and frees RAM for Roblox. With this change, Roblox will have smoother FPS and fewer lag spikes caused by memory. Step 6. Disable useless startup apps for faster boot and gameplay. Many apps start automatically when you turn on your computer, and they run in the background even if you don't need them. To fix this, right-click the taskbar and choose Task Manager. Then click the Startup tab. Here you'll see all the apps that launch when your PC starts. Go through the list and disable the ones you don't need. For example, apps like Spotify, Discord, or Adobe Software don't need to start with Windows unless you want them to. Be careful not to disable system apps that Windows needs. After disabling unnecessary apps, restart your PC. Now your computer will boot much faster, use fewer resources in the background, and leave more power for Roblox. This results in higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and less lag overall.